success plan that will, that will help them grow in those areas. So hopefully this will be helpful in providing some guidance here. Check in the chat. Okay, Deborah, can you hear me now? Or is everyone else having that same issue of the repeats? Um, I can hear you. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't miss too much. <laughs> um, so this is that career success plan. Again, I'm hoping that you're able to, you're, you are able to walk through it with students. Again, you can direct them to me as needed and that it will serve as just something to kind of give you um, more information to guide them along the way. And again, I'm gonna put that link in the chat as well. The next thing I wanted to share with you is about internships. Um, it's a great time to start promoting spring internships to students. I have several already who are already in the interview process, so they'll be ready to go come January. Um, as long as a student has a 3.0 GPA, we will accept 2.5 if we know that they can get those great faculty recommendations in. So please start promoting this. We have a lot of opportunities available for students here. But also on this note, if you're in a department here on campus that wants to host an intern, that would be great as well. We currently have um, someone serving in the IT department and Colby Puckett just recently put an application as well to host a student. A lot of our students really want that on-campus job too. So again, if you're in a department that could use a student and could mentor them, let us know and maybe we can place one with you too. And I'm gonna share that link for the application in the chat as well. Any questions about some of these things? I know a lot of you maybe missed earlier parts with the feedback, but. Oh, and if you need me to come talk to classes, you want me to talk to classes about resumes or just career planning in general, I am happy to do that. Anytime I can get in front of students, the better. I love to come to classes and give brief presentations or however long you need it to be. So feel free to reach out for that too. And Stephanie, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Lynn, thanks for the reminder about recording it. I did click record, I think, pretty soon after you sent the message. Any questions for Riley? Thank you, guys. Okay, she shared those links in um, chat. I will also, in a follow-up email, um, include those links um, with, with a link for the recording for this in case anyone's interested or they missed it. All right. Thank you, Riley. We will turn it over to Karen Nelson now, and she is going to, I think, also share her screen and talk to us about transfer information. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Can everybody see my PowerPoint here? Um, well, it talks to you about why transfer to A-State. Um, one reason is we do have a wide range of degrees, um, 130 majors and over 60 minors. And students have several different ways to obtain those um, degrees. One way is to stay here on the Mid-South Campus at the University Center. Um, we do offer a few degrees, uh, bachelor's degrees here. One being uh, business management, criminology, um, education, both elementary and mid-level. And then we have our traditional RN program, which is a two-year um, program, and then the LPN to RN program as well here at the University Center. Another way is obviously to um, attend the main campus in Jonesboro. And then we have degrees um, that are completely online through A-State Online. And then this newest way, um, it's been about a year since we've started this, um, is our dual delivery hybrid programs. 
and I'm going to click here and see if it'll take us to this page. Um, this talks to you about what exactly the dual delivery hybrid program is, about the cost, and right now we have nine different bachelor programs that are offered through this. This is where students can um, take classes online and through Zoom. Uh, Zoom classes do meet certain days, certain times. And this program, along with our UC programs and of course the traditional campus, um, students are eligible for a transfer scholarship that I'll talk to you a little bit more in a minute about. The 100% uh, online programs are not eligible for that transfer scholarship, however. So this dual delivery hybrid program, I go back to that for a minute. Um, students do have to earn, have earned an associate's degree from an Arkansas school um, to be eligible for this. And let me scroll down a little bit. We have the following degrees right here and we're adding more. We have our Bachelor of General Studies, the BAS and students have to have had uh, earned an associate of applied science for this one. We have our uh, business admin. You must have an AS in business for this. Um, there are digital technology and design, engineer management system, which is a fairly new one, strategic communication, communication studies, psychology, and criminology. So those are the ones that we offer right now. So let me go back to this. Um, how they can join the Wolfpack. Um, if they would like to come to see me, I can help them with the process for any of those, um, the online, traditional, or the dual delivery hybrid, or if they wanna stay here, I can help them with that process. Then come to my office in the University Center. Um, I'm usually here Monday through Friday. I've been traveling a little bit more, so but my admin, Sherilyn Allen, is here as well, that she can um, you know, set appointments for those students if you have students that's interested in ASAP. Of course, this is the link for um, the application for admissions. And if they are transferring from a system school like Mid-South, that application fee of $30 is waived. There is no code they need. They just need to simply make sure they're putting in Arkansas State University at Mid-South as their transfer school. Um, transfer coursework. We have some two plus two programs um, that are here with Mid-South. Let me take you to this page. Um, it's just going to simply say transfer into A-State and then you're going to go over and pick either A-State if they're doing traditional campus or maybe an online, but we'll do this. And here's the Mid-South. These are the programs right now, the two plus two programs we have between A-State, Jonesboro, and then Mid-South. So we'll look at, um, let's just say criminology. You can simply pull this up and look at the uh, Associate of Arts that they would be taking here at Mid-South, their courses at Mid-South and how they would transfer over. And then the bottom part of this is what courses they would be taking at Arkansas State to complete their bachelor's degree for criminology. And these, like I said, are, are located on our web, website. Um, let me see, sorry, just a second. Get back to that. Well, I can't get back to my, sorry, I'm going to stop sharing for just a second and get back to my other. So, like I said, we have several of them. If you would like me to send the link for that, I'd be glad to do that. Um, Messing this up. Sorry, just a second. There we go. So <clears throat> we have two plus two programs. We also have, if students want to know, and I can help them with this as well, how their transfer courses here at Mid South, or maybe they've taken one or two at another school, but I can work with them at the transfer tool, equivalency tool. We can simply see. Um, how their course from Mid-South is going to come over. This, if you just leave this, it's gonna show every single course. But for example, biology, this is a great tool for the students like biology 1214 here at Mid-South. Uh, that's the anatomy and physiology one. They can see that it'll come over to Arkansas State as our anatomy and physiology one as well. So you can look at that. Not, not every single course might be in there, but if 
if it's not, then um, they can talk to me and we can talk about that as well. <clears throat> the um, financial aid and scholarships, I mentioned a transfer scholarship earlier. These are the how to qualify. And then um, there is no actual application for this. So if students ask when they apply to the university as a transfer student, what's gonna happen is we're gonna look at their transfer credits and make sure they meet the 24 college credit hours that they have to have. Um, and then the GPA requirement of 3.25 overall, that's between any college credits they have. Um, it is a $4,000 per academic year. So it'd be 2000 each semester. <clears throat> if students are transferring from a system school such as Mid-South and going to that main campus in Jonesboro, they could be eligible for that extra $1,000 um, to add to that. The hybrid, dual delivery hybrid in the university student students, um, unfortunately, are eligible for that extra thousand for students that are going on to the main campus with that associate's degree. Again, this is this is um, a great scholarship. Um, one thing you do want to remind your students about transferring because this does affect right here. Um, you do need to be if you're coming in the fall, admitted by July fifteenth, and then for the spring semester, be fully admitted by December fifteenth. So that's a, a good way to talk to them about, you know, making sure you're getting applied um, ahead of time, even start looking like the semester or so before you're gonna actually transfer. There are deadlines that you need to keep in mind. Um, some of this is just the other thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit about are private scholarships. Um, this is again on our main website and there is a certain deadline for this as well. Um, it usually opens up October 1st for the next school year. So right now it's available for the 22-23 school year and they have till December 1st. Um, this is the application. And then down here, you can see all the different um, applications or, or I'm sorry, scholarships that are available. You can either just look at general scholarships or break it down by their actual uh, major that they're looking at, either education, maybe your business. Um, but then they can see all of the different scholarships and click on them and it kind of, some of them should tell you a little bit about the scholarship, but they do one application for this. Um, one thing that they do recommend is that along with the application that they have a, the resume, a letter of recommendation from faculty member, academic advisor, and then um, just a, a short um, essay about, you know, their educational goals and then how these scholarships could help them reach that. So those are things that they would want to submit with their application as well. So that's just um, a little bit, and these are things that I, you know, if they come to me, we can look at that and find out exactly when they need to start doing this. But like I said, I always suggest a student at least a semester, if not even maybe the semester, two semesters to start looking at different scholarships and different majors that, that the school offers. Uh, but this is my contact information, um, my A-State email, my office number, and of course they can look us up. I have a Facebook page for our university center. And then this link here, um, I can send this as well. If you have students that are interested in A-State, they can fill this out and it'll come to me so that I can contact them and answer any questions they might have or schedule an appointment with them. Do anyone have any questions? All right, Stephanie, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen then. Anybody have any questions about transferring or how to get in touch with Karen again? Karen, if you'll send me that PowerPoint, I can attach that to the email when I send out the follow-up email with every, to everybody. Okay. I and that way people will have those links and those details back in front of them again. And there, there are other um, scholarship information on this. There's a, a few more slides that I didn't, you know, I didn't want to take the whole time, but I kind of oh, highlight. But the whole time is yours. So if you want to, I mean, I don't, we don't have anything else planned. This is okay. yours. So if you want to share it, let's share it. Now, share it. Yeah, now's a good time. I mean, I'll go ahead and kind of what most of it talks about um, scholarships through the state of Arkansas, um, but I'll share yeah. some of the other screens. Yeah, good. 
Okay, so let me get on this and I'll share. Um, let me go back just to the financial aid. Again, this is the transfer scholarship. That's the, you know, a big one. Um, one thing I did forget to say about, tell about that, you do have, the student does have 30 days to accept the offer if they're offered this. They'll receive a letter um, saying they, you know, meet the qualifications. Um, the different types of aid that's available through the state, of course, the ac uh, academic challenge scholarship, um, the lottery, there's a few there. Um, and then how you apply to some of the um, different scholarships through ADHE, I have the website here. And it talks to you about some things that you, you know, have to do as well. When applying to those, you have to create an account through here. Um, this is kind of breaks down the lottery scholarship. And I think Crystal, and you might can help me with this, is the deadline, I think maybe I didn't change this, has changed to July 1st. Do you know for sure? Um, I thought it was still June 1st, but okay. I can double check. Okay. I need to update, update that if it has. For some reason, I thought it was July 1st. Um, and this is stuff, you know, Crystal obviously can also answer for Mid-South students, but these are our students at at uh, A State are eligible or they can um, accept loans, student loans. I always try to tell students <laughs> to avoid that if they can, you know, cause we do have quite a number of private scholarships, of course the lottery and everything, but this kind of does break down the difference between the two um, subsidized and unsubsidized. So they, our institution does allow students, you know, or offers that opportunity for loans. This touches back to the private scholarships. Um, of course, always, you know, any local businesses, civic organizations, you know, once they um, also get to the main, if they go to the main campus, they might also have different departmental scholarships for those students. And those go back so, to some of the private scholarships as well. Um, let me see if I can go back up here just a minute. Um, let's see what else I might have missed. Really, it's the I, I encourage, you know, if you if students are curious about the courses to use this transfer course equivalently. Let's go. I'll go back to that for a minute because I kind of ran through that. You want to look search by non A state course um, course. Pick your school. Um, I mean, you can see all the different subjects. Um, of course, let's look at maybe welding or something and show you. If you'll see over here, it says no credit accepted. That's because they're technical courses. You might, you know, but again, they might check with their department and say, you know, um, especially if they're doing like a, a Bachelor of Applied Science, you know, that might be different, but they won't automatically show on their transfer um, transcript at A-State if they're technical. They don't automatically transfer. Um, here's the psychology. Okay, see, so this is our intro to psychology here at Mid-South and it does have an equal course. And sometimes they might say, student might say, well, it didn't transfer because it might show something like this, gen ed, social science, or lower level developmental psych, psychology. But it does transfer, it's just not an equal course. It's just gonna be um, satisfying either a gen ed requirement or maybe um, a lower level requirement in that area, but it's not exactly equal to the course. So that's what a lot of students might have questions about. But this is a great tool for students to use. And the two plus twos that I showed you are something um, as well that I would really, we'll go back to that because I think I rushed through that as well. So these are the different ones that we do have right now. Um, and I know my supervisor, Adrian Everett came down and we talked and um, we're always interested in maybe looking at other two plus twos, but these are the current ones that we have. So here's a bachelor's of applied science organizational supervision. 
So again, if a student, you know, completes an AAS in health studies here at Mid-South, these are the courses they've taken here and how they'll come over. And then the coursework they'll take um, at A-State. Karen, Mary had a question about the communications degree. Can you um, pull that up? Sure. Let me um, I'll just do something real quick. Well, sorry, I got to stop sharing just a second. Let me go back and get to that one. You want the communication one? Yes, please. Uh, communication studies. Let me pull that one up. Okay. All right. Okay, so here is if they do an associate of arts in general education here at Mid South, and then uh, pursue a bachelor's of arts in communication studies. All right. Let me see if I can. Did she put her question in the chat, Stephanie? Yes. Okay, I can't quite get to it. Let's see. And Mary, you could unmute if you want yeah, to just ask me, yeah. expand or expound and talk about or ask your question. Oh, here's the chat. I'm sorry. Um, could you break down what the communications degree? Oh, she didn't have a mic. Um, I mean, are, are you wanting to know specifically maybe what students do once they obtain that degree? Is that what you're wanting to know or are more specific on the courses within that degree at A-State? Okay, what prepares for? Um, Let's just go and look what I can do here. Just one second. I'll bring this up and show you um, communication studies. And I'll stop sharing and share this screen with you. Okay. So I shared that this, I just went to, um, this is another good thing you can do as well. If you go to astate.edu, if you go to academics degrees offered, it lists all of our degrees, whether it be, you know, traditional campus or all online. And I just chose the communication studies here. It pulls up um, different degree plans over here by year. It gives you a coursework overview and then the description. Um, and then why major? I, you know, I haven't had too many that have done this degree. Um, obviously, my the focus more here is education, and then some business, um, nursing. Um, so here's kind of an overview. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really answering your question <laughs> as far as, but you can also visit the actual catalog too um, for that. Um, this really, the description here says that, that it, it helps focus um, both for your verbal and nonverbal messages um, to generate meanings within, you know, various contexts, cultures, and media. So this is going to be, you know, more like one area could be like a media type degree. I mean, a career. But Here's public communication. They break it down a couple different areas. On this side, you can see communication studies. We'll just, this is 17, 18, so it's a little older, but um, this actually breaks down what they take and when as well. And let me stop sharing and go back to our two plus two so you can kind of see. Um, Let me go back up to over here we go so she asked what courses do they take besides our basics so maybe could you share that 
that yeah um the ours at the top again and yeah. well electives are you talking about maybe if they're here taking some electives there's not besides you know our our speech class because these i don't think that mid-south has any of you like these lower level ones intro to interpersonal communication communication theory I think uh, he is asking about the courses that are on the bottom of that. Maybe if you can here. make that, Karen, can you make the that page a little bit bigger? Can you zoom in uh -huh. a little bit so it's easier to see? There you go. Is that and big then, enough? Yeah. And then maybe just hold it there for a second. Just yeah, let me highlight them um, so that she can so that she can look at it. So these um are the specific courses, and you have to take 21 hours here, and there are some electives. These are, could be open electives. So some of the electives they took, you know, here under their AA could potentially go here as well. Um, that might not fit, you know, under their upper level or even these lower level communication studies. Um, they have to have 24 hours of electives. Um, now this is a bachelor's of arts. So sometimes they need that foreign language, you know, requirement. So that might be something they could take here as Spanish to get them started. Um, but these, yeah, these are the courses here. And then Mary asked also, can I take any of these from a state here on campus or here in town, or do they have to go to the main campus? For any of these that I've highlighted under a state? Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, they're not offered here at the university center, unfortunately. Not to say, you know, um, now if they do the dual delivery hybrid, we could maybe potentially do some of the Zoom that they could come to one of the rooms here that we have for A-State, yes, and Zoom in with the Jonesboro class so they wouldn't have to go all the way there. That is a possibility. Um, but just with a, you know, an instructor coming in, some of them would be online as well. But this this is one that sh if you did the dual delivery um, hybrid, yes, they could potentially do a Zoom class here. Um, they can also do them from home, the Zoom classes, so. because they do have in that dual delivery hybrid um, program, they do have to do two Zoom classes per semester for the scholarship. So the advisor would make sure and pick these classes that are set up at Zoom. And then some could be, you know, the rest would be online. So potentially, yes, on this particular one, they could. Did anybody else have other questions for Karen? Sorry, I, sorry, Mary, I didn't really answer as well as I probably should have, but um, if you have a student that's interested in this, though, um, please send them over here. We can get in contact also with the department and kind of talk to them more in depth about the um, degree itself, for sure. This, um, I'll send this, like Stephanie said, I'll send the link to the uh, PowerPoint because that way you'll have the links. If some, for some reason, the links don't work for you, um, just let me know and I can send you the actual link to the pages for the two plus twos and the scholarship and different things that I've shown you. I appreciate y'all's time. But I'm always here to answer questions. The best way to get me is through email. Um, because I have, like I said, I have been traveling a little bit more to other campuses. So and I try to um put a calendar on my door. So if students don't do come by and the share link happens to be out, they can see that I'm out, you know, at a specific campus that day. Anything else anybody might have questions about? All right. So reach out to Riley if you've got questions about career services or you've got students here trying to connect with her. Remember, she offered to come into your classes and reach out to Karen with questions about transferring or A-State or especially send the students her way 
if students are looking to transfer there, she can help get them steered in the right direction. Have a great rest of the day and we'll talk again with about more advising in a couple of weeks right before advising day. Advising day is November 17th and we will have a meeting the Friday before that. Advising day is on a Wednesday this semester and that'll kick off priority registration. So watch for that and we'll share updates about that in a couple of weeks. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend. Thank you.